Next candidate, somebody you probably uh, would recognize, <laughs> our president, Mike Moore. Thank you, Jim. All right. Well, first of all, thanks so much again for everybody being here this evening. It's great to see so many familiar faces and new faces alike. Um, yes, I'm running for Pasco County Commissioner, District 2. And you say, Mike, why are you running? Well, I'm running because I believe Pasco County's future is bright. I really do. But it's up to all of us, not just me, to make that future a reality. You know, Pasco County is a great place to live, work, play, raise a family in. But we can do better. Over the last several years, again, I know Mike just said it too, we've gone through one of the worst economic disaster in decades. We witnessed our neighbors and our friends lose jobs, lose their homes, have to move out of that area and relocate. And again, I said we can do better. We've witnessed, you know, an increase in traffic and congestion on our roads. We've also witnessed an increase in crime. We've witnessed a lot of lost opportunities, too, here in Paso County. Recently, T. Rowe Price just announced that they're still on the lane. They're not coming. We heard a few weeks back that they weren't coming. Now they're saying they're still on their lane. Another lost opportunity. Again, we can do better. So what's it going to take? I can tell you right now, and most of you know this, I'm big on jobs. It's going to take jobs. And not just your eight, nine, ten dollar an hour jobs. It's going to take high paying, secure careers to make that happen. And with high paying, secure careers, a lot of things can happen. Obviously, it helps increase the tax base, right? It's nice to do things organically versus what the county staff tends to want to do, which is to constantly raise taxes. All I hear and see in the newspapers consistently is the county staff pushing to raise taxes. So once we bring high paying secure jobs here, obviously it helps increase the tax base. And then we can have the things that we want, like our parks, we can have our roads, we can have our schools, we can expand upon our schools, <laughs> which I know you want to do. We can expand our parks, and we can live, you know, live in a place where we can, you know, again, live, work, and play. And you know, for far too long, our many of our people here in Paso County have had to make that long drive every day to Hillsborough County, to Pinellas County. I know people are still going to Orlando, actually, for work. Because they still want to live here. They want to live in Paso County. But they, still, you know, they don't want to give up their, their homes and to give up their friends. So they're making that commute during the morning. And they're making that long commute home every day, too. So you have my promise to you to bring higher paying, more secure jobs. Now, I could talk all day about how I'm going to do that. I'm probably going to run out of time about two seconds here. <laughs> but um, I can make it happen. I'm comfortable talking to CEOs from other companies. That's what I've done in my life. You know, I've built businesses. I've spoken to, you know, I, I speak to CEOs now on a, on, a, on a consistent basis. And I know if we have what it takes to make it happen, we just got to do it. So I'm going to speed it up here. Sorry. Um, at the same time, we need to be more business friendly here in Pasco County. We're known as one of the worst places to do business at in the state of Florida. Again, it's a fact. We're known as one of the worst places to do business in the state of Florida. Permitting the review process, the zoning process. Now they're talking about increasing fees. I know people have been watching this. They're talking about increasing fees again in Pasco County. We've got to be more business friendly. If we want to recruit companies here, we have to be willing to do what it takes to get them here. Third, because I know we're out of time, is public safety. I'm also big on public safety. Public safety, obviously, one of the things I hear on a daily basis is people want to be safe and secure in their homes. They want to be safe and secure in the streets. At the same time, back to bringing jobs here, companies want to know the county is safe and secure. They want to make sure their people they bring here are going to be safe and secure. So you obviously have my promise to make sure that the Sheriff's Department and Pasco Fire Rescue are given the resources they need to do their job and keep us safe, safe and secure. Laura and I have been blessed. You know, we've, we've realized that with dedication, hard work, and commitment, we can do a lot more together than we can as individuals. And again, that's my promise to you. We're going to work together. We're going to make it happen. We're going to make a brighter future for Pasco Thank you.